Two years ago in North Korea, Salt, a CIA agent was detained and tortured. She claimed she wasn't a spy, but the Korean security tortured her. One day, she was released, and the government of America exchanged a Korean prisoner for her. She was welcomed at the gate by her colleague Ted. She asked him why the CIA blew their cover to get her released, and was informed it wasn't the CIA's intention, but her boyfriend Mike was persistent, he had written several letters to the national body, and if the CIA hadn't done anything, Mike would have blown the cover himself. That day, when she met Mike outside the detention center, Mike proposed to marry her despite knowing she was a CIA agent. She accepted the proposal. Two years since then, it is now their wedding anniversary. Salt wakes up to her husband working on his research, and she tells him she is going to prepare pancakes to celebrate their anniversary. At work, she is watching YouTube when Ted finds her. They start a conversation. While they are talking, Francis, one of the CIA agents, brings some files to Salt, and Ted insists they give Salt a break for the day. When the office work finishes, she is about to leave the office with Ted, when a Russian defector Orlov walks into their office, insisting to talk with Salt. Ted and Salt sacrifice their time and go back. When they are about to enter the investigation room, a CIA counterintelligence agent, Peabody joins them to watch the interrogation. After Orlov has undergone scans, Salt enters to talk with him. The first thing Orlov mentions, immediately as he sees her, is that she is married. He tells Salt, he is cancer, and isn't afraid of anyone or anything because he is dying. Not only him, but Russia is dying too, but they will ensure Russia doesn't die. He says he wants to tell her a story. In the year 1975, Shasa, a wrestler met a chess master Anka. They were in love and they got married, a year later, they gave birth to a baby named Chenkov. A few weeks after, Chenkov became sick and was hospitalized, her parents were told she was dead, and they buried the baby, but it was not Chenkov. Chenkov was taken home by an agent, who had a master plan of training children to make them American agents. The plan came into manifestation in 1959, when Lee Harvey, an American migrated to Russia, he returned to America three years later, but he wasn't the one who returned, the one who returned was a Russian named Alec. After the Alec program was a success, the agent trained all the kids he got through the means he had gotten Chenkov, the kids learnt the English language even before learning the Russian language. They underwent training, and were to be sent as KIA agents to America. Salt interrupts and asks when the story would end, because she doesn't have time to waste, Orlov tells her the story didn't have a happy ending because Chenkov was adopted by American parents who died in an accident, so he lived his life as an American. On day X, Agent KA-12, who is Chenkov, would kill the President of Russia, on the day of the American Vice President's funeral. He tells them that is what he came to inform them. Although Orlov's neural scan shows everything is true, Ted laughs it off, wondering why a Russian agent would kill their president, but Peabody believes the story. Salt asks what Orlov wants in return for the information and Orlov says he only wants to help them. Salt attempts to walk out of the room, she tells him she has more important things to do. Before she opens the door, Orlov says the KA-12 agent is Salt, and she is a Russian agent. Again, Orlov's brain's neural scan shows everything he is saying is true. Peabody wants to take Salt in for investigation, but she asks to call her husband, insisting the reason Orlov mentioned her marriage earlier, is that they are targeting her husband. She makes a call to Mike but he doesn't pick up. Peabody orders to lock Salt in the investigation room, while he and Ted talk about what to do. Salt insists she isn't a Russian agent. While the security is taking Orlov out of the office, he attacks them in the elevator, the red signal is circulated in the whole office, and Salt uses the opportunity. She asks to visit the ladies' room, and leaves the investigation room to escape. Peabody is in the security room, watching the CCTV footage, when he sees Salt escaping. He sends agents to find her and Orlov. To her, it seems as though the CIA didn't have any interest in finding her husband, so she decides to find him herself. Everywhere she hides, she notices she is seen on the CCTV, she takes a fire extinguisher and blurs out all cameras. Peabody takes the team to attack her, but she overpowers them by creating an explosion. She takes a gun, breaks down a window, and jumps out. She takes a cab home. Ted tells Peabody she would go straight to home to find her husband. When she gets home, she notices Mike has been kidnapped, she carries her pet dog and her husband's spider in a bag. She sees the CIA agents coming, and jumps through the window to a neighboring apartment, drops her pet dog with a little kid there, changes her clothes and starts running. She is seen by Peabody, and runs to escape from him, but Peabody catches up. 
she screams she isn't a spy and is being set up. Ted tries to talk on her behalf and tells Peabody, the Russian agent may be lying. Peabody asks Salt to surrender, but she jumps down onto a moving train. She jumps from train to train, and tries to escape. Ted has no choice but to call the Secret Service on her. Salt escapes into a club, treats her injury and runs out. She takes a train to New York, and remembers the day she was released from North Korea, and how she told her husband he wouldn't be safe with her. Mike knew she was an agent, but he chose to love her and be with her. She checks into a hotel under another name, and steals some clothes on the way to her room. She unpacks her bag containing weapons, and dyes her hair black. On the funeral day, the whole area is closed down by security. Ted and Peabody are there, securing the whole perimeter. When the program commences, Salt is on a train, and the train doesn't stop at the train station due to the ceremony. She sets up a smoke on the train, causing the doors to open, and jumps out. She sneaks into the location through the utility tunnel, and kills some unit officers. When Peabody gets the notification, that some unit officers are missing, he leaves the funeral and goes down to the utility tunnel. Salt throws a bomb at the funeral, thereby letting the Russian president fall right in front of her. She shoots the president, Peabody sees her, and she surrenders to him rather than leveraging the opportunity to kill him. The New York police arrests her. On her way, Ted tells her he would ensure she rots in prison for this, but Peabody hesitates, because he realizes Salt had the leverage to take him down but she didn't. While she is driven away in the police van, she recalls her childhood in Russia, and remembers the day they changed her face. She attacks the police, causing an accident and escapes. She steals a hat and takes a boat. While she stands on the boat, she recalls the day Orlov brought her to the American embassy, and told her she would work at the CIA. That day, Orlov had told her he would come for her, whenever he needed her. She takes the boat to the Russian sleeping agent's hideout, and hears the news, that the Russian agents are ready to retaliate for the death of their president, and the anti-American protest has commenced in Russia. When she enters the camp, Orlov welcomes her. He hugs her and tells her she shouldn't have married at all, and he had kidnapped her husband to be sure she can still be trusted. He takes her to her husband, and tests if she can watch him get killed, while they drown him. Salt's emotionless look makes Orlov believe she is back to their force. The agents welcome their sister back. Orlov informs her the next mission is to meet up with a NATO agent, Comrade Edward. After she gets the mission from him, she kills Orlov and the other agents, looks at her husband's dead body in the water, and recalls her wedding day. She goes on a plane to meet Comrade Edward, he was one of the kids at the training center, and someone who Salt was close to then. He tells her the mission is to kill the American president, he shows her a map with the location of the president, and says his mission is to ensure the president is at the location. They get to the White House. Salt disguises herself as a NATO agent, and enters inside with Edward, who tells her he is sure there are other K agents with the president, with different missions. When the president arrives, the Secret Service interviews Ted and allows him to escort the president. Before the president enters the elevator, Edward shoots at him, making the president enter the secret bunker with Ted. Edward gets shot, triggering the bomb inside him, killing him. Realizing what is happening, Salt removes her mask and jumps into the elevator. At the bunker, the president is given reports that the Russians deployed nuclear weapons in the field, and to retaliate, he orders that the Americans' nuclear weapons should be used. He takes control of the country's nuclear weapons. Outside the bunker, Salt attacks and fights all the security guards. When Ted sees Salt is already in the bunker, he shoots all the secret security agents in the bunker, and orders the president to sit down. Ted reveals himself as Tarkovsky, another KA agent. He asks the president to direct his missile to another location, but the president refuses, so Tarkovsky incapacitates the president. Salt realizes Ted is a KA agent. Tarkovsky targets the missile towards Mecca and Tehran. He tells her they plan to incite billions of Muslims, so the Muslim countries would retaliate and destroy America completely. Salt begs him to let her in, so she can help him. He refuses to allow her. Just then, the news shows that the Russian president isn't dead, Salt had laced spider venom into the bullet she used, to simulate his death. Tarkovsky knows Salt has betrayed them, he tells her he knew they would be betrayed, that is why he had asked Orlov to visit the CIA office, and expose her as an agent, so they can make her take the blame for the nuclear attack. He says he was the one that told Orlov to kidnap Mike, and she tells that she killed Orlov and the agents. He is happy with the news, and concludes that now he would be the hero and Salt would be the traitor. The nuclear launch is proceeding at 99% and it is about to launch. Salt breaks into the bunker, gets into a fight with Tarkovsky, 
and tries to stop the launch. The Secret Service has been trying to break into the bunker for a while, and they finally succeed. They ask Tarkovsky and Salt to surrender, but Salt runs to stop the launch and is shot by the Secret Service. Tarkovsky pretends that he is the one stopping the attack, Salt is arrested, Peabody gets the information that everyone in Orlov's hideout had been killed, and they ask forensics to search for the killer. Tarkovsky sits facing the walkway, and grabs a scissor to kill her, but she is faster, and uses her handcuff chain to strangle him, and kills him. Salt is taken away by the CIA, and tells Peabody that Ted knows about Orlov, and she is the one who sacrificed her life for the country. She insists that if she wanted to kill the Russian president, she would have done it without blinking an eye, as she was too professional to miss her target. Peabody informs her that even if he believes her, no one else would. He got a message from the forensics that it was Salt who killed everyone in Orlov's hideout. He pretends to slap Salt, and uses the opportunity to unlock her handcuff, so she can jump down in the water. The plane searches for her, but they couldn't find her. While she runs through the woods, a voiceover announces that she is dead, and every other K agent is dead too.